gonna have a nice toasty head today. You know, despite what this, this may seem, this is not sponsored at all. <laughs> uh, Roe did provide me with the jackets and stuff because, well, as we've established in a previous video before, I have connections. I work at a camera store. Despite what this video seems to be right now, including this right here, not sponsored at all. This is not sponsored in any shape, way, or form. This is, this is my own video still. I swear. This is not sponsored by Rode. But Rode, if you, uh, you want to hit me up, I have some ideas. That's not true either. I don't have any ideas. I just really want you guys to give me... I want... Uh, and look, I'll be honest. I need a new microphone. And this is my only way. I don't want to buy it. Even I mean, look, I'll buy it. But uh, if you were just to give me a new microphone... I'm about to say great things about it. Look, enough said. Enough said. This one may not fit me because it's like an extra large. And I'm a solid medium. I'm an extra medium guy. You know what, uh, when I first, when we first got our hands on this, we thought that is way too excessive. That is way too excessive. It's just a little bit too much. But now looking at it, having it open it, it's kind of cool. I'm actually really excited. I think I'm actually going to wear this one non-ironically <laughs> when I'm out and about. The only, the issue is that it's an extra large, but it's actually, ah, oh, look how cool this is. Dude. Alright, literally any brand, if you want me to sell out and say good stuff, just give me free clothes. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> Not true at all. I actually do like Rode as a brand, like, genuinely. So, you guys are lucky this time. I do. Our interests just happen to align. Just happen to align. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get... Alright, let's actually get into the video. Roll that intro. Have I used that intro? I don't think I've used the intro in a long time. Just roll a new intro if you've made one, but if you haven't, it's a KV pop, I forgive you. Just roll an intro. What's up everybody, people back with yet another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about the best microphones and the best audio gear you can get today. And this video is not sponsored. However, we are gonna be talking about the Rode microphones because that's what I use personally. I've used them ever since I started using, this is gonna to be too much. Yeah, it's still, still too much, I'm gonna. So ever since I started making videos, my first microphone was actually the Rode Video Micro. I don't have it right now because I'm letting my friend borrow it because that's how awesome of a microphone it is. And they just released it like a new, they just released it. It's, they released it last year, I think, and it's a much better microphone. Anyway, we'll get to that in a second. But yeah, ever since I started making YouTube videos or any sort of videos, vlogging style with the M50, which was not my first camera, but it was one of my first cameras, it doesn't matter. I've been using Rode equipment for a long time. Uh, and what's even cooler about the Rode brand and Rode as a company is that they're Australian which is where I'm from which is awesome because uh represent guys <laughs> it happens to work out that uh, it's most most uh I guess it's most companies actually like Canon also has a black and red thing going on my favorite color or my favorite color combination black and red so we're just guys it was meant to be uh hit me up my dms are open <laughs> So today we're talking about Rode microphones and Rode equipment and how you can use them uh, like I use them to make these sort of videos right now. We are recording with the Rode NTG microphone hooked up with the Rode Wireless Goes. So I'm not just using the microphone plugged in with a really long cord because that's just awkward. We're actually using the Rode Wireless Goes hooked into the Canon R6 into the NTG so that way I can have the flexibility of booming my microphone wherever I want without having to worry about a really long cable which is what the Wireless Go is enabling and it's really cool because you can't see it right now but the Rode Wireless Go actually has a, is a, is a railing system on the NTG which you can slide the Wireless Go so you don't have to awkwardly strap the wireless pack to the boom arm it sits all contained in the microphone okay but first before we even get into why I love this microphone and why you should 
should definitely consider picking it up if you haven't already for the low low price of $125 which is actually really good like that's amazing yes you can get the original micro for like I think it's $80 but there's a few downsides to the original micro which I had and I, I will get into that later but the reason why you should definitely consider at least investing in good microphone is that audio is half a video you're hearing me just as much as you're seeing me yes 4k and high res cameras and log and all these things that we love they're amazing and that's what helps us create content like this however if the person can't hear you hear your message what you have to say there's almost no point to having like 8k <laughs> it's 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 impossible like, if i was to watch a video like right now I'll open up my phone and just go scrolling through the tiktok instagram reels youtube whatever and i was to come across this video which is low resolution looks like it was shot on a potato shot on an android just you know just nasty nasty footage but as long as i can hear what's going on and i can kind of see what's going on i'm going to keep watching if it's an interesting story however on the flip side if i was to scroll down and see a video in crispy 8k not that these phones really display 8k probably but you get just roll with me roll with me see the most high resolution video and then it sounds like a trash compactor crushing your soul i'm i'm skipping past it it's a it's a hard swipe i'm just swiping all day i'm like yeah no i don't want to put up with that sorry for headphone users just then because I would have I would have done nothing. So what I'm trying to say is that audio is just as important as video and that's why we need to focus on being able to deliver good audio, great audio. Thanks to our sponsorship. Of, no, I'm joking guys. It's not, I'm not. Uh, but that's why we do need to focus on great audio, at least decent audio. And that's where I think the Rode Video Micro and all the Rode products are going to help you deliver that audio and that, that higher audio fidelity. It's just, that's amazing. That it's, it's great. All jokes aside, even if the brand isn't Rode, I just getting a good microphone is going to elevate your filmmaking your storytelling to a whole new level it doesn't matter if you're not a filmmaker or anything like what you tr I'm trying to do here like telling stories creating content if you want to tell a story you're a filmmaker now and knowing how best to capture audio capture video it's going to be better for you so here we go so this is the Rode Video Micro it's $125 what's great about this microphone is that it, it's a full packet not only does it come with the microphone and the cable to go into a camera but it also has a microphone the cable to go into a camera and the cable to go into a smartphone, MacBook, computer, because they take different ports if you didn't know. It's actually a TRS versus TRRS, which is tip ring sleeve versus tip ring ring sleeve. What does that mean? It means it's just not compatible across camera and computer, but with the Rode Video Micro, you get both cables. So that's phenomenal. I love that. I wish they would include it with all of their microphones. Again, I have ideas on how to improve your product. But it also not only comes with that, it comes with this. This is your dead cat. Here, I'll show you. So whenever you're outside and you're recording audio, if you get that that wind just gushing in, this right here, a dead cat, is going to help alleviate a lot of that. A lot of that sound, a lot of the wind noise that we get when we're recording audio. If you've recorded audio on your phone, because our phones are kind of just it, the built-in mics are never really good. The built-in mics don't have any sort of dead cat of any sort. Using a microphone with a dead cat is going to help not cut it out completely, but it's going to help cut it down and reduce it significantly. So that's why I really love the Rode Video Micro. Another great thing about the micro, apart from the size factor, like look at that. Look at this, like you're vlogging, you're out doing the vlog. Then my giant NTG, what I love for getting the crispiest audio and having the the most fine-tuned control of the audio this right here is just run and gun hey guys what's up we're going to do a vlog today it's just so much easier to carry around you don't look as obnoxious like i mean you still look a little obnoxious with the big camera but big microphone big camera super obnoxious big camera small microphone not as obnoxious. Pro tip for you there. I love the size factor. It's a little bit bigger than the original micro, but that's mostly due to this new mount. I don't know if you can see that there. So this new mount, this is basically, they, they used to do a partnership with Rycott, but now it's like the new Helix mount. It's really cool because the old microphone, oh my goodness, I need to get, I'll, I'll add in B-roll here, but this is what the old microphone used to do when you were vlogging. It would just bounce around because it was just the one little, one little mounting point and it just wasn't the best. Like it didn't affect the audio at all, but it was just, one of those little things that made me go ah oh, really mm, just it's it's just it's my it triggered my ocd i was like i hate that it bounces around so i would do these little i would wrap the cable around to try and stop it from bouncing as much but it was just a little thing now with the new helix mount as you can see here this whole thing is super contained it's got like dual support in a way so when you're you know bouncing around in a 4x4 four four, you're just walking down the street this microphone's like not moving at all yeah the camera's going haywire but the microphone's not moving so that definitely will eliminate any microphone shake or bounce 
that's going to maybe affect your audio. So I love the new mounting system. I can't wait for it to come to the rest of their products. That's why I haven't bought myself a new microphone yet because I'm like, ah, oh, what if they, what if they just reinvent it and add the new mount? I, I'm so excited, but that's what I like about this microphone. Plus, you don't need to charge it. The microphone I'm using right now, I had to delay this video because it wasn't charged, and I'm I'm an idiot because I just hadn't charged it in a while, and I knew I was making a video, but I didn't charge it. This microphone here, you don't need to charge, which is phenomenal because you just want to run and go, and you just leave it in your camera bag, leave it with your camera, you can leave it on top of your camera, it doesn't take up any room, and then you're just always ready to go. So this is why the video micro has kind of replaced the NTG for me, vlogging at least. Uh, in studio when I want the crispest audio and I'm doing jobs, yeah, I'm still gonna use the NTG because it's just a much better professional microphone that gives me more fine-tuned control. But for running and gunning, the video micro, 100%, I recommend. Pick it up at your nearest TED store near you if you're in Australia. If not, Amazon, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive than the Video Micro, the original, which you can still buy, but I think the updates and the upgrades that they made to this microphone in terms of the mount, in terms of the package deal that you're getting with the Dead Cat, and the two cables for phone and camera, it's a great quality mic that will elevate your video significantly. I'm gonna switch over to the Canon R now because I wanna show you the setup I'm actually currently using and how I'm actually using the Wireless Go, which is their wireless transmission system, and the NTG because it's not exactly how you typically would think you would use the wireless go because most people know the wireless go you can connect it to the top of your camera use a transmitter to either get a lapel which i have here bam yes also of course it's road i also need to update this because this is just the lavalier go which you know it, it gets the job done it's great but I want to get the new one because it's I, I like it. I like new stuff. Leave me alone. It's actually probably the most popular thing for wedding photographers and filmmakers. It's an affordable wireless transmission system, and the lapel mics are amazing. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I actually use it to mic myself up in studio in the office. It's my bedroom, but hopefully that's changing. Stay tuned. Also, guys, if you want a tip for ever doing like first person video, uh, instead of having the microphone facing away from your mouth, just rotate it and uh, screw it back on. Have the microphone facing you because, of course, if the microphone's not facing me, it's just not going to pick up my voice as well. It's just like human ears. If the microphone's facing away from you, it's not going to be able to hear you as well. You want it to be a couple of inches away. That's why it's in the shot and it annoys me, but it's the best way to get the audio. Rotate the microphone towards you so that way the audio is actually being picked up from your mouth instead of bouncing off the wall in front of you and then coming back to be picked up. It's, it's just if you're ever going to do that this is how I'd recommend you do it. Anyway let me quickly show you. So this is actually what I see when I make these videos. I've got the R6 with the 24mm on with the wireless go on top and it's actually connected to this wireless go here. I mean of course here but as you can see this railing system that I've got for the NTG, that's on top of the NTG. It's amazing because you can, again, you can just connect the transmitter onto this little slider and then you can just boom your microphone, but you can boom it wirelessly. So you've got a wireless transmitter here, you've got your wireless transmitter here. It all just works in harmony. It's amazing, I love it. And uh, yeah, that's so that's just really, I, I like it. Just leave me alone. It's cool. Okay, so that's been it for me today, guys. I hope you learned something about audio and I hope that you go out and know that you need, need. <laughs> you should be using an external microphone instead of the built-in microphones to your camera. I hope you learned something new about how to boom a little janky setup just like this using the wireless transmitters. Again, they don't have to be from Rode. I just happen to use Rode and... I got the shirt and the jacket and I just thought it'd be fun to make a video about the microphones and how I use the microphones in my life. So hopefully that helps you guys go out and create content with a much better audio. Alright, that's it for me. I hope this video wasn't too long. Pete, if you're watching this, leave a comment. Thanks mate. Uh, and uh, have a good one. <laughs> See ya. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to end videos. I don't know how to end videos. It's just, it's never, never going to be, never.